one, two, uh, you know what to do. General purpose medium thin. This one is canvas, not like some of the other nylon ones they have. It's a long story how I got this, but that's <laughs> that's another video. That's a video for another day. Here we have the directions. I'll try and get a close up of that. General purpose medium says it takes a minimum of eight personnel to erect this tent. That's not true. It takes two motivated people. All right, openings at each end, right here. I'll show you these. These have got kind of an interesting little lock back here before we check this out. These little wood tabs to keep this pole closed on each side and then you can tie these up. Mosquito nets here. There's ten five and a half foot poles that run down each side. So there's ten of those and plus four of these. These are six feet. The ones by the door. So you have two of those at each door, six footers, the other ten or five and a half. We just put these in here, just we just cut them 45 inches. This just keeps that separated in this way. Two, two posts are ten and a half feet high. And they sit up there. Now when you assemble this, see this? That wasn't connected to that top cleat. So make sure when you get that up, that, that goes up there. This had an optional ridge pole that you use for heavy snow. I don't have that. We could build one, but I don't see any need to. There's two ports for wood stoves or kerosene stoves, whatever you want. There's one here and one over here. And on the outside, we have these flaps here, both on each side. Also, you can open these up. That's out of this game on this side each one. The dimensions on this say it's 16 by 32, but in the real world, it's 14 by 31. And these tie offs, they'll be wrapped up in the tent, very easily adjustable. And I offset these five and a half feet the length of one of these posts. And the st your standard little tent pegs are not going to work. These are two foot pieces of rebar driven into the ground. So your small little tent stakes won't work. That's experience talking. And once you bring these down, bring the flaps down, zipper it on the side, zip that right up. Tie these off on the ground with regular tent stakes if you want. When you roll these sides up, these are just a simple, a simple knot. I might have done instantly. Roll these up on the inside so as rain comes off the roof, it doesn't pull in down there. What else? Uh, Dad, how come there are random patches that look like they're another texture and color? Well, uh, patches. That's from Squirrel Mageddon, 2018. That's it. General purpose tent, medium.
Olé!